action. Your name might be on the title. It might be parked in your garage, but I'm the owner because I'm the king of Miatas. And there's been some stories about the big guy pedal mod on the web. We've done this modification to the gas pedal for several of our customers, and they have tooted about it and uh, praised us and really love this modification. So this little video is going to show you how to modify your gas pedal so you can stretch your right leg out a little farther and take that kink out of the right leg. Now what we're going to do is going to show you first right here an actual diagram. This is the firewall of the car and the floorboard. This is your, your foot, your right foot and the gas pedal. You can see that the gas pedal actually has a, a kink in it right here, a little bend in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the bend out of the pedal and move the pedal a little higher. That allows you to stretch your leg out and the heel of your foot now will be able to go into that corner of the floorboard where the floorboard meets, meets the firewall. We're actually going to take cut two inches out of the gas pedal. This is the gas pedal right here, and this the white marks show you where we're going to take the, the shorten the gas pedal. After the first curve at the gas pedal, we're going to cut there, and we're going to take two inches. We're going to take two inches actually out of the gas pedal. This is a pedal assembly that has been cut. The two inches has been cut out. When we put them together, we're actually going to bring it together, and when the gas pedal is going to touch the rod right here. So we're going to weld here and actually where the pedal face meets the rod. This is a finished pedal. You can see it's been welded together here and also for support welded together the pedal has met the rod. This is the modified pedal and this is the standard gas, gas pedal next to each other. We don't lose any motion or throttle opening. Throttle, we still have full throttle opening but what it has is it allowed the gas pedal to move closer down and actually higher, which allows the heel of your foot to move into the closer to the firewall. Next, we're going to take a look at the two different pedal assemblies on the Mazda Miata. There's the standard pedal assembly, and that's a pedal assembly without cruise control. And here's the gas pedal. The gas pedal cable hooks in here. It's a ball, cable with a ball. Pull the ball out, pull the clip, release the cable at the top. To remove the pedal, the pedal can be removed from the car while the pedal assembly is still bolted in. And on the standard pedal assembly, it's actually a circlet. Right here we can see a circlet. To remove the circlet, you're going to use a screwdriver and pry the circlet out. Once you pry the circlet clip out, you can remove the spring and remove the pedal assembly. This is a pedal assembly with cruise control. The cruise control servo cable actually comes here and attaches here. And it, when the cruise control works, it actually pulls the gas pedal. So that's why you feel the gas pedal being pulled when you have it in cruise control. Going up a hill, you can feel the gas pedal moving. And that's the servo on this lever right here. So this one's a little more complex, and it actually uses a different clip. It uses a clip of this kind, a round clip, a star washer that actually attaches to it. To remove the star washer, you're going to use two small screwdrivers, I do, and pry it back and forth, slowly back and forth, until you can pry the clip off of here. Once you remove the clip from the, the shaft of the gas pedal, you can pull the pedal assembly out. You gotta watch yourself because there's also the linkage in here for the cruise control. So there's a bushing and a pivot on the gas pedal. When you put the gas pedal back together, you wanna watch yourself because there's actually two bushings in the metal structure here. A bushing here, a bushing here. The gas pedal is gonna go back into place and when it does, you wanna have that spring the spring in place, so the pedal goes through the spring, through the second bushing. The spring can actually be wound up, snapped under there. There you have your tension. 
this is a standard panel assembly, so it uses a sur clip, and the sur clip can be reinstalled in here. Next, I'd like to tell you about the big guy seat modification. A popular thing on the web has been to take out the cushion, you know, in the bottom, the seat bottom, to remove the cushion. But when I sit in those seats, I feel like I'm falling into a toilet. So it's not comfortable. And I don't know who thought of that, but there is a better way to modify your seat. So we're going to go outside and take a look at a car that's been modified as the big guy seat modification. This is a Miata, a 94 Miata, that has the big guy seat modification. And to do this modification is very, very simple for the Miata owner. What we've done here is actually remove the back of the seat. So all that remains of the seat is the bottom cushion. On the 94 through 05 car, the seatbelt is attached to the bottom cushion. So you still have your seatbelt attached. So you're able to still use your seatbelt. The seat bottom actually moves back and forth for adjustment. Once you find out where you like to be, you can actually create a cushion and put a cushion in here and snap it to your boot snaps. And that cushion will allow you to move your, your body as forward as much farther forward as you want to be. You can create a headrest right here on the support bar. Now I'm a six foot guy, so let me sit in this seat and show you how far back you can actually move yourself. Put this seat all the way back. I'm sitting in the car, my, my arms are stretched all the way out. A modification like this, the gas pedal mod, look at my legs, my legs are stretched all the way out. I actually cannot, I have to stretch to put the clutch pedal down. So if I move the seat a little forward and I had a little cushion behind me, boy, this car would be, I'd be laid out, I'd be cruising in this car. This is a great modification for the big man. Now this modification can also be done for the passenger seat. Let's say you want to take your wife with you and she hasn't been able to come because she's a big woman and won't fit into the car. Well, remove that seat back and she'll be able to take those wonderful country rides with you on the twisty roads and have a great time. She'll enjoy herself, you'll enjoy yourself, you'll have a great time. Hey, thanks a lot for watching these videos. I hope you learned something today. We'll see you around the next time. Thank you very much.